Hello my fashion friends, I'm Katya and this is my channel, welcome. Um, this is a place where basically I share everything you need to know on becoming a fashion stylist, especially if you have limited resources or you come from a small fashion market, this is the place to be. In today's topic, I'm going to cover how to build your portfolio, which is essential for basically booking your jobs, paid jobs. So let's just dive in. Okay, so first thing that I would like to talk about is how to actually start building your portfolio. I did cover some of these topics already in my previous videos, so if you haven't seen them yet, do go back and um, watch them. Uh, you're gonna find out how to network, what it takes to become a fashion stylist, which skills you need, um, things like that. Um, so once you decide to become a fashion stylist, um, obviously you need to start building your portfolio. Um, before you do that, if you have zero experience and don't know anyone who can help you and don't have any connections with people that would work with you and who you would do photo shoots with, my first advice would be do try to get an internship or get yourself a mentor. Um, I myself offer some online one-on-one -on -one mentorship programs in case you are interested, so you can check that on my website. But other than that, to get your first experiences, um, it's gonna be much easier for you to do your photo shoots, even if you're doing them for yourself to build your portfolio. You're still gonna have to learn ins and outs of what it takes to be a fashion stylist and how to actually execute a photo shoot and what it takes uh, for the clothes to look like they do on the photos, where to get the clothes, all that stuff you can learn with internships or even assisting jobs. So without going too much into detail about that, Obviously, photo shoots are the ones where you get your photos from and what actually builds your portfolio. So how to get to do photo shoots and how to start building your portfolio. So one of the easiest way on how to start building your portfolio is just to organize photo shoots yourself. This means that you're gonna have to find the whole team, so you're gonna have to find a photographer, a makeup artist, a model, um, if you want to really elevate the photo shoot then also a hairstylist, a manicurist, uh, you know, you can have a set designer, you know, you can build your whole stage if you want to, but at least at the beginning uh, you will have to connect with three people, photographer, makeup artist, model, and then also you're gonna have to find your clothes. Again, I did a whole video on networking and how to find these people, so I'm gonna post it somewhere here so that you can take a look. And then basically you start doing your photo shoots. So once you find all these people, you can start organizing photo shoots. Of course, you always let them know that it's a talent for print, so everybody is working for free and everybody at the end gets photos for their portfolio. So if you find people who are, you know, uh, beginner photographer, emerging model, they're gonna be like over the moon happy to work with you. What kind of photo shoots to do? Obviously that depends what kind of niche you have, what kind of aesthetic you have, what kind of, you know, what kind of stylist you are. Uh, in editorial styling, it's pretty much sky's the limit, so it it all depends on what kind of concepts you have in mind, what kind of stories you want to develop, what is your overall aesthetic. I don't know, are you goth? Are you like super luxury? Are you, you know, it really depends. Um, you can find a lot of this inspiration in magazines and just see what you are drawn um, to. But I would say when you start to build your portfolio as, a, as an emerging fashion stylist, um, do try to be diverse. Try
try yourself at many different in many different styles in many uh, different areas experiment and you know let your wildest fantasies and dreams run free <laughs> basically i myself when i was starting i i literally did everything from um styling a photo shoot on like with yoga clothes um we styled photo shoots with wedding dresses i styled um photo shoots with like emerging designers um slash student designers who had some like really extreme and avant-garde clothing um then i also because i didn't have so much access to designers back then i style a lot with my own clothes so you know it was very leisure kind of laid back casual styles um so try different things it's good to have a diverse portfolio but then again keep it in your little niche you know if that makes sense so besides um doing your own photo shoots a good way to find opportunities and style and learn and develop is to do uh, model books you're probably gonna do them either for free or a very small fee that depends if you're gonna do them for model agencies or if you're gonna do them directly with models um, model agencies usually don't pay but um, models if they hire you um, they would sometimes like at least cover your lunch which is good so yeah model agencies are a very good source uh, when it comes to building your portfolio Mm, another great one is working with young designers so you would basically collaborate with them to create lookbooks and then the third option would be to contact uh, makeup schools um, because usually at the end of their programs um, they would also need um, photos for their portfolios and obviously they need models not to be naked so you can take advantage of that as well um, so those are three ways besides you organizing your own photo shoots. Um, when you do organize your own photo shoots, again, like I said, um, depending on which area of styling you want to work with, um, but do try to um, find different magazines. Um, there is like countless online and print magazines now that uh, accept submissions. Um, so do take into consideration the aesthetic uh, and the whole vibe of the magazine and then you can uh, produce a photo shoot based on that and send them your um, photos. And you know, um, it's always a plus to be featured somewhere besides just having pictures in your portfolio. So that's how you get um, to get your pictures and then as I said at the beginning, uh, what pictures to include, how to build your portfolio, I would say take into the consideration um, these following things. Try to be diverse. Um, only put pictures in your portfolio um, that are of high quality uh, and that represent your work and you're proud of. Uh, don't put pictures inside just for the sake of having pictures inside. It's better to have less um, photos than to have photos that, you know, kind of ruin your reputation or, or shine a bad light on your skills and your, and your level as a stylist. You don't have to feature the whole editorial inside. You can choose two, three photos of one editorial um, just to show that you know how to build a story and you know how to make a story cohesive but don't put the whole editorials inside also if the photos were published anywhere then use the pdfs or the print photos of the publication because it's gonna show that you know you're not just shooting for yourself but you were actually published how many photos to include that depends on you um, don't, you know, you can have a portfolio with three photos or you can have a portfolio with 300. Obviously nobody's gonna look at all of them. So um, do feature the best work at the beginning. How does a portfolio look like? You've already seen in the background, I will show you what is my portfolio. 
um, and then you can have it in multiple different formats you can you know even have your portfolio on instagram um, that can be one thing you can create uh, one account just for your photos if you don't want to mix it with your personal stuff um, you can have it in a pdf file if you do have it in pdf file then make sure it's just one file with all your photos you can make it in so many different ways you can get really creative if you want or you can have it like very classic you can make it um, with print photos like a book like uh, models have um, you know um, you can do it however you like um, there are countless ways you can create a website for that you can yeah I think that's pretty much it so you can have a digital or print that completely depends on you um, yeah um, if you're gonna need any help building your portfolio, let me know in the comments, but I think I pretty much covered everything. Um, so yeah, thank you for listening. I hope this was valuable and yeah, see you next time. Bye!